all across the planet are looking to make connections with people. Well, guess what? Divine Connections Magazine is helping businesses not only walk in their purpose and passion, but to get connected to their potential. That's right. You've got to connect to your potential and you can make it happen now because it is time to know your work as you get connected to people all across the planet divine connections magazine will make it happen and get featured in the magazine today and get your copy now because there's no other time than a divine time to get connected to divine connections magazine guess what when i did i told him all about that and where i'm gonna be when I got back to the hospital that afternoon, a little later on, my family, all, all of us was sitting, we sitting in the front. And it, and I know about Duke, they have a front where you come in. When I mm. looked up, my husband came walking in the door. He walked into the door and I started smiling and I told my mother, I said, I had spoke a little bit and told my mother about, I met this young man. And I told him, I told my mother, I said, there he is, there he is. And and I was just so excited. And even though my father was really sick and 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 everything, uh, you know, I I I told him about it because I wanted, you know, I didn't know what that he was coming or not, but I, I told him where I would be. But you know, when God puts something in motion uh for you, when God is in any situation, it works out. So, and like I said, and I met him, and from that day. Until now, we've been, we've been married now for 46 years. Uh, wow. At the time I met him and um, uh, at the hospital, and like I said, my father was very sick, is that that we didn't leave each other's side. We, we uh, uh, from that, that particular, it was on a Saturday and we really didn't leave each other's side until we got married. And we got married, it was starting in March and we got married in June, which was three months later only three months and now we've been married for 46 going on 47 years and to god be the glory and i love my husband he's a beautiful man of god and a man that loves god and also he, a lot of things that have happened to him uh and he had two amorism but like i say we trust god uh he have two amorism but l let me tell you he moving around he can go outside. He can cut his grass. And sometimes he can tinkle a little bit on the cars or stuff like that. There's something wrong or that I do. He don't let anything stop him. And so that put a more of a drive in me too. And I make sure as a mother of the house, I, I try to do everything that I know to do to be a blessing. And that's what as a mother, what a mother does. And that's what Mother Day is all about because a, a mother is is to drive in that house is because uh you know if, if the mother's not happy then that home can't be happy so I always made sure that that i did everything i could as a mother bless be a blessing to my husband and be a blessing to the children and that's what we have led our life we whenever we would do things we always my husband and i did it together so that's why i know that god did it Right. And we have a very uh, tight family. And so you said he would, we, I guess before y'all got married, he said he would give you the world. That's what yeah. he told you, right? That's, that's what he always told me. He say, I will give you the world. And I told him, I say, I don't want the world. I just want you. And I just thank God. And, and even today, he feels that same way. If anything mm -hmm. he thinks if I need or, or want, if he can do it, he would do it. And, and that's the blessing thing about a, a married couple. Sometimes mm -hmm. people do things because they may have the money or uh, they are rich or, you know, uh, something of that nature. But my my husband 
did not we I don't look at it that way and, and neither does he when he said he was giving the world, but it said it, it, whatever it was needed, you know, always provided. We always had plenty of food. Those are the necessary things of life in your household. Make sure our girls were well prepared. Uh, we sent them to college and, and uh, as well as to school and all of that. And we made sure they had what they need. And every one of our daughters, once they would come out of school, one thing that my husband and I strive to do, we both always would buy them a car. Because just like my father did for me, he wanted to make sure that they had transportation and be able to get around. And so we did the same thing for our girls as well. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, yeah, so I'm a daddy's girl and a mama's girl too. Um, I know my dad, he has been um, through a lot, but he is very determined. He will not slow down at all. Um, no. He's a little stubborn, you know, but <laughs> he, I, I can't, you know, I can't doubt him for it because he's, you know, he's not lazy. He's a man. Mm -hmm. He takes care of responsibility. He covers his family. Mm -hmm. Even at 42, I'll still go home and we will still stand in the circle. Mm -hmm. We will still pray um, mm -hmm. that God covers us. And that is awesome. And so the things that you see me do, it's because I have a strong backing and support background mm -hmm. with my family. And I'm appreciative of that as well. Um, mm -hmm. As you see, I don't put the cash app down. My mom's birthday is May 9th. Y'all go ahead and Love on her and send some funds to the I Overflow um, <laughs> if you would like. All right. And so you also are a missionary, Mom. So talk a little bit about that. Yes. I I go to my church family and, and our church is Greater Walltown United Holiness Church. There I am the missionary uh, president. Uh, and, and also, not only am I the president uh, at my church, also... We always um, go also to a uh, nursing home, which is called Rose Manor, as well as another called Carvin Little Center. Carvin Little Center, living, living, I'm so sorry, living center. When we go to these places, we just don't go just to be going. We also like to send gifts or give gifts to the patient there. Uh, and also we always we give them a service. A servant. I, I'm a kind of person. I love to help people. I love to see people blessed. And not only, you know, sometimes you only think about yourself, but you always, and I always think about others, others, and I love to see them blessed. So we go to this, these nursing homes for the reason of giving them a service and as well being a blessing to them. We do a 45 minute service. And also, I'm the Sunday school teacher also at my church. And I'm Always, when things are going on, I always I volunteer my help. I, I I love to be there to be a help. We had a, a program where as we feed the children uh, during the summertime, and whenever that comes up, I always try to go and be a part of it and be a blessing and a help. And also that uh, uh, my pastor wife also uh, have a program that we do also by working with the children the summer during the summertime when the kids are out of school keep from them, you know, getting bored or whatever. We have the program where they can come and we can teach them even more during the summertime. And I'm also a part of that. And we have all kinds of different things that we do at our church. And whatever we do, like we have the night out where we give kids uh, book bags and all these things. When all of those things that are going on, I always like to participate. Uh, participate, whatever any of the members are doing, I like to be a part of it. And my pastor wife also have this, which called this Enlightened Book Club. I'm also a member of that. And as we know, right now, we are reading a book. And this book that we are reading is about the woman God created you to be. So it's a lot of things that goes on at Greater Wall Town that I'm, I'm a part of. I'm a member, and in and, any and time you're whether you're in a church or you in any type of group, you know you you have to be a member and a and a great part of it. You know, uh, sometimes people don't like to do things, but I I'm I'm a person I like to help, and if I can help somebody or whatever they are doing, I'm more than glad. And and that is just similar, uh, just even just being a member of it. I I mm -hmm. want to know that I want to help. Whatever they are doing, I want to help you all as well. Whatever you have to do, I want to be a helper, just as I try to help you, Dolores. And in a way uh, that I can, I'm always there. And I, that's, I'm the same thing in life. 
I try to help out wherever that I see I can fit in to help somebody along the way. Absolutely, absolutely. So we, um, she does missionary. Um, that's just who she is. She's a servant um, to mm -hmm. the king. She's a servant mm -hmm. in the kingdom, and that's what she does. Um, and I do it in a different form, not in a different form, but you know, with the business that I do as well. And then when I go home, I serve there as well. So um, I enjoy what we do at our home church. We do a lot of community things. Um, at our home church and I love it, love it, love it. All right. Get ready to ignite your inner spark and embrace the extraordinary. Imagine a world where your unique gifts, talents, and ministry are not just ordinary, but divine connections to something greater. Introducing the Divine Connections Apparel, your gateway to radiant your inner brilliance like never before. From trendy hats that will make you stand out in a crowd to stylish shirts that'll let you express your divine essence and cozy hoodies that'll wrap you in a warm and positivity we've got it all but that's not all we also have jackets socks pillows towels blankets and so much more are you ready to step into the spotlight and shine like the star you are then head on over to bit.ly forward slash divine connection store right now don't wait because the world is waiting on you to embrace your divine connections and spread your unique light order today and let the world see the true essence of your extraordinary self you are a divine connections and it's time to let your light shine this christmas by your side is blazing high Are you looking for more exposure for your book, your ministry, your church, your organization, your gospel group or event? We are here for you. Divine Connection has a marketing promotional package going on. If you would like more information, simply text 336-338-8903. Again, that's 336-338-8903. We would love to serve you and get you on multiple platforms to get your ministry and your message out to the masses. We look forward to talking with you. Yeah. And I'm so grateful that I 